So without further ado, let's start. So first part of the program, I'd like to call on our lead instructor for the Data Analytics Bootcamp, Lex. So Lex, take it away. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lex. I am part of the education team of Escuelas. And as mentioned by Kyla, I will also be the lead instructor for, these, for this upcoming bootcamp. So let's go into the details. For those who have been following uh, Escuelas, uh, this program is actually formerly known as the Business Intelligence Skills Camp. So shout out to cohort one and two. In terms of length, this will be eight weeks long divided into four sprints. Um, what do we mean by sprints? We'll go into um, in, to it in a little bit. Who is this bootcamp for? Specific, specifically for people who want to learn data analysis, data visualization, and the data query. So for people who want to venture into the into the data space, wants a career in data analytics, has a current career, but they want to upskill and learn more data skills so that they can be more effective, then this is the bootcamp for you. In terms of the tools that we will be using for the bootcamp, it will be mainly these three. We have Excel, we have Power BI, and we have SQL. So as I mentioned, we'll go into detail to as to what data sprints are. So data sprints essentially is a setup where our students will be working in small teams. So this is teams of three, four, or five. And the idea is you will be working with other people and you'll be uh, building a project. The idea here is you have an output at the end of every two week weeks, which we refer to here as a sprint output. So um, all of these sprint outputs also become a final requirement. So you don't just end up being able to apply all the skills that you learned at the very end of the bootcamp. In fact, you are uh, challenged and pushed to apply it almost immediately. And this is a great opportunity for students to be able to apply um, what it is that they learned. And usually through this process, you understand more what it is you really um, understood and um, what you don't understand. So getting into the specifics of each sprint output. So we have the first one, uh, sprint one. Uh, also, as I mentioned, sprints are split into two weeks. For our first output, we will be focusing on using Power BI, mainly on the data of SDGs. So we will be looking at uh, specifically um, certain indicators to see how it is currently doing. Some key lessons that will be tackled for this sprint, definitely descriptive analytics, which is pretty much the baseline or the content of what a dashboard has data rambling with Power BI and data visualization. So uh, we'll be able to be introduced to the steps, right? How do we even do analytics? And of course, we'll put it in the context of how to do it in Power BI. For Sprint 2, we will be using Excel and SQL as our main tool. So we will be looking at sales, the sales and uh, customers database of a music company. So for this sprint, we will be focused on diagnostic and prescriptive. So we'll be exploring the whys um, in terms of the certain behaviors of this music company. Of course, prescriptive, when we work with businesses, it's all about what should I do next and what is that based on? Since we will be tackling SQL, we will learn how to query data. So for people who have always wanted to get into coding, SQL is a great um, programming tool to be introduced into this um, quite intimidating world of programming. And last but not the least, we'll be going into data storytelling. So this um, for me is a, a big gap in terms of people's abilities, the focus on content, and we're pushed now to communication. So for the last sprint, three and four, it will be a combined output. So we will be working with an existing company, and we will be pushed to investigate how they are currently performing through a dashboard, we'll do an analysis, and of course, a formal business presentation towards this company to provide insights and recommendations. So for this um, sprint three and four, it, it will be simply a um, application of prior concepts. We'll go deep into detail of some of the topics, but um, majority of it we've already been able to cover in the first two sprints. All right, so let's go into the requirements of graduation. Of course, it is the submission and presentation of the outputs. What output am I talking about? These are your sprint outputs. Again, 
the, they are submitted and presented at the end of every two weeks. So not only at the last part of the boot camp. And of course, we want to be um, have, have some level of um, openness in terms of people's schedules. So in terms of absences, it will be a max of seven. And in terms of the schedule, that's pretty much missing a full sprint, which is not ideal, not your goal, but that's pretty much uh, our lead way for it. Okay, let's go on to the schedule. So how big is seven absences? Okay, we want to look at it um, from the point of view of odd numbered weeks. In this case is one, week one, week three, week five, and week seven. And of course we have the even numbered weeks. Surely if you want to sign up for this bootcamp, you want to block off Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, six to 9 p.m. So those are our main class sessions. The only difference we have for even numbered weeks, two, four, six, eight, is that we have a Saturday session, which is 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And the goal here is for you to have more time to work on your sprint outputs. It's quite challenging to learn something, to apply it, and to create an output. And you'll, we also want to take note that there is a one-week break. So when does this break happen? It's after the first two sprints or from week one to week four. There's a one week gap and then we uh, resume to the last four weeks. And just to take note to free your schedule, there is a certain uh, week where we will have class on Thursday because Feb 12 is a holiday. All right, so this was um, what An uh, Angela mentioned. So we will, of course, be trying to best help you in terms of jumping, jump starting your career. So we will be collecting your resumes, updating the skills and tools that you know, and be sending this out to uh, 80 plus companies. We will also have job, a guaranteed job interviews. Don't worry, we'll be helping you out in terms of how you build a resume, um, how you deal with technical and culture, culture fit interviews. Uh, last but not the least, we'll have industry talks. So we'll have people come in, share with you what is the experience of someone who does data analytics in the office. How does it really work? What is the process of applying? Do I really need all these things that I see in these job posts? So we want to um, match these things in terms of the reality and the expectation. 